how to make trade-offs as a product manager. Trade-offs are going to be the most common challenge you face as a PM. So here is how you can navigate these beasts. This is going to be rapid fire because I don't have a lot of time. So let's go. Number one, remember, there is no perfect decision. Think about those triangles that have something like time, quality, and cost. You can only ever pick two. So every time you pick one trade-off, you're compromising something. And the compromise is what's going to change from trade-off to trade-off. So just pick one that you can justify and that you think is the best and stick to it. And be able to rationalize it. That's the most important thing. Again, document that rationalization. Document it, the why, because you're going to have to come back to it one day and you will forget. Number three, what people are going to be giving you lots of feedback from their perspective, from their discipline, whether it's design, engineering, architecture, security, whatever it is. But you are the one who is accountable for your product. You represent it as a whole. You represent the customer. So remember your product's objectives and priorities and remember your customers. And that's going to be your why when you're making decisions. Whenever you do make decisions or in, in the process of making them or deciding trade-offs, educate people on why and make sure they come along on that decision-making journey. And I'm going to share later on, I think, uh, how you should do that so they can feel like, again, they're included in the process. Sometimes people see things very black and white from their perspective, but you can kind of show them all the different gray areas. Number five, use data where you can. So you're not just making decisions from like a gut feel kind of perspective. People know that you have to make trade-offs, so remember, they know you can't do everything, so don't fear that you will be judged for making compromises when it comes to certain trade-offs. Next, don't feel like you're making the decision alone. Get everyone else's perspective, different cross-functional partners, design, engineering, the business. Make sure you get their input because their input is valid, so you need to get that to help you inf inform the, tr the decision you are making. How to get people involved and how to bring them along on the decision-making process. Basically, list every possible idea or decision you need to make and list all the different trade-offs for that decision and get input on each and every one of these or the ones you prioritize and make a decision that way. Build a fantastic relationship with your engineering team, especially those who are more experienced. They naturally have a very good sense of trade-offs and things that can go wrong and you need to have their input or it's very good if you do when making decisions about trade-offs. When you are making a trade-off, don't just think about the impact it's going to have now or the compromise that you're making now. Think about the future of the product. Maybe a compromise you make today isn't going to be fantastic, but it's not really going to matter in 12 months, two years time. And lastly, trade-offs are just a part of the job. So why not enjoy them while you can? They are the only constant. Think of it like a game and just have fun with them. That was really quick. I hope this made sense.